ginger, um, I've put a um, raw chicken, salt, all purple seasoning, um, maggi sauce, and all that to cook the meat. So now the meat is cooking. So I've got a uh, smoked turkey in there, goat meat, and chicken. I'm cleaning the parboiled rice now for the jollof rice. You have to uh, wash until the rice is clean before you can use it so that it won't be sticky. So as soon as you wash the rice, the next thing to do is to filter the water away. The rice. I've done this several times, so I'm kind of used to doing this. So the rice is clean and ready to be used for the jollof rice. Hello everyone. Welcome back to Amazing Cherish Kitchen. Um, how are you all doing? How is everybody? I hope you're all doing fine. Um, first of all, let me thank all my subscribers. Thank you so much. Thank you for subscribing to Amazing Cherish Kitchen. Uh, for those of us who are coming in for the first time, this is Amazing Cherish Kitchen. We used to call it Cherish Kitchen, but now it's Amazing Cherish Kitchen. Here we do all the cooking, uh, from African food to whatever food we make every uh, kind of food here and moreover we mo make healthy meals so thank you please if you are coming here for the first time please subscribe press the notification button so that when i upload new video you'll be able to see it and watch the new video thanks let's today we're going to be making um jollof rice so here I've got um, all the ingredients that I'll be using today. I've got my parboiled rice here. I've got derika. I've got uh, sliced onions. So I've got the meat sauce, the water from boiling all the meats. So I've got the blended tomatoes, all purpose seasoning, salt. I've got olive oil. I've got curry powder there, bay leaves. Uh, maggi sauce some cubes and stock pots so this is all we're going to be using for the jollof rice today so let's start cooking so first we turn the gas cooker on the first thing we do is to pour the oil in the pots depending on the quantity of the rice you don't need too much oil so this should be about um, three to four spoons of oil, a big spoon. You now the oil is going in the pot. The onions has been uh, seasoning for some time now, so I need to put in the Derica tomato. So I fry this together with the onions. This is going to make the jollof rice uh, look red, have that reddish color. Fry until the derica looks all dry. Uh, uh, fry for some time the derica. So now we put some bay leaves. Um, stir everything together we stir so it doesn't get burnt at the bottom so we bring in the blended tomato inside the pot so this jollof rice is going to be a lot so we have the lot cube no chicken I'm going to be using two no chicken. Now we still taste as time goes on to see if I get the right taste I'm looking for. So, then like a spoon of all purple seasoning. Half spoon of salt, not too much, because all the meat sauce. It's already got uh, salt in it. Like a spoon of curry powder, we do. One tablespoon of curry powder. 
I will bring in um, the Maggi sauce. Let's say two teaspoons of Maggi sauce. Stir everything together. And the sauce has been cooking for some time now. That's the sauce. Let me turn down the gas a little bit. So that's the sauce. The next thing that will come in now is the meat water. So we we'll bring in the meat water. Yep. Beginning to smell nice. So now the rice can come in inside the stew now. This is how you cook African jollof rice. And you cover, you're allowed to cook again. And you cover the the rice with a clean foil so that it can steam up. Cooking for around it. Cover. Then allow the jollof fries to cook for another 20 minutes. Because the rice has been parboiled. The stew has been cooked, so it shouldn't be too long. Leave that for another 20 minutes, then we'll stay, then the rice will be ready to serve. Now the rice has been cooking for about 20 to 25 minutes. There about. You have to be careful when you are doing this bit because you can see it's very hot. So now we'll just stir the rice. Stir it so that it doesn't get burned at the bottom of the rice. So the rice is almost cooked now. Put the clay foil back again. This time around, you have to turn the gas cooker very low because it's almost cooked. It's just to dry up a bit. Reduce the gas cooker. Jollof rice is ready now. Oh my goodness, you can smell the flavor. It smells really good. Oh my goodness. Look at that. Is someone hungry? Well, I'm hungry. <laughs> oh, please don't forget to subscribe to Amazing Cherish Kitchen. Please share this video. If you like this video, give it thumbs up. Let me know how you prepare your jollof rice. And leave your comment in the comment section. And please don't forget to join us next time. God bless you. And this is the finishing of the rice. How beautiful is that? Wow. That's amazing. Well, I'm hungry already. Thanks for watching. See you in my next video. God bless.